Good morning and welcome to yet another unboxing. Today's unboxing is a Christmas unboxing. It's going to be for my grandson's gifts that I have for him. And um, I'm outside. It's very brisk outside. I'm going to try to get this done as quick and expeditiously as possible. Um, and the reason that I'm, I'm at a different angle today is because the box is so big. So I'm going to start with a smaller box, which is an accompaniment gift to the larger box. So my um, grandson, Sean Ellery, wanted me to get him something Batman related. I don't know this year he's into Batman and um, he wanted like a Batman set. And I decided to do something a little bit different. I went and got him a Batman costume. I know you might say right now, like, oh, damn, that's lame. You won the Batman set, and you got him a Batman costume. But this is only part of the gift. This is this is a retro Batman. It's like the um, Adam West Batman with the yellow. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe um, the other Batman had yellow on it, too. Yeah, I believe it did, the one with uh, the, the, the initial one. I can't think of the actor's name right now. But the guy who plays the Vulture in Spider-Man. Um, yeah, so it's got the yellow and black uh, logo but it also has the muscles in it with the uh, hard mask so I don't know if you can see that but check that out so let me get the next gift oh wow shouldn't have done it this gift uh, slightly bigger so I have to uh, put it on my adjusted table and this one I'm really proud of because I'm going to move this chair out of the way For me, I believe this is one of those gifts that when your grandson or your child looks back and they'll be like, that was one of my best Christmas gifts that my pop pop gave me. And I remember wanting a, specific, a particular gift when I was young that I never got. So I guess when we get to be parents or grandparents, we get to redeem ourselves and live through our grandkids and give them the things that we never had. This is what it is. I was going to get him a bike, but this just seemed that much better. It is a Batmobile, pedal powered. Uh, yeah, let's get that open. Uh, get that out of here. I'm on. Tight fit. That's what she said. So this thing is cast iron. Well, it's not cast iron, but it's sturdy iron alloy. I was reading the thing, and um, it comes partly assembled. So I'm going to do the assembly right now, and I'm going to speed it up. But um, yeah, it's going to be a part two to the video. I'm going to go to Philly, and I'm going to take it to him. Okay, so initially my plan was to make the video go faster, but I believe I can put this together pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll speed it up as I need it. So I'll start with the wheels. Also, I wasn't sure, this is black reflective tape. I was thinking about putting it around the wheels so that it would have a reflective uh, appeal to it, but maybe I'll just include it in it. Maybe they can put it on themselves when you get there. Okay. This back wheel is the drive wheel because it has like a, 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 prong, a prong or whatever that fits into the back of this wheel. So when he pedals, that'll be where it goes. Take these off for the time being. I can make this go quick. If I know me, I probably added some music to this. All the wheels have um, the fixtures for the prong but all of the drive set the drive trains don't have it so what i assume is that if one breaks you can always just interchange it by the way these are the instructions 
people who have who I have grown up with, if they remember, if, they were, if any of them are watching this, we would have killed to have these kind of wheels, these kind of wheels, because we used to build our own go-karts out of milk crates and um, shopping cart wheels. And these would have been some really good front wheels. I once made a, a go-kart that was all shopping cart wheels. It was kind of low to the ground. I was trying to give it a, a, a race car, like a formula formula race car kind of feel it did work but usually um guys would want the uh, big the big uh big wheel wheels on the back so that they can do a little spin out and stuff it's cool we had a really good childhood now that i'm thinking about it and like, we had a lot of fun doing stuff like building stuff which is why this is no problem for me you know we, we had tools in my house we grew up we we made stuff we put stuff together so, and besides the fact that this is already semi put together, it's not hard. So normally people would put these screws in and go down, but I feel like I'm going to come up into it because if it ever shakes loose, there's a high probability of catching the nut before you lose it somewhere in the street. Even though these are locking nuts, you still can't really um, trust them not to fall out. These will probably probably be the trickiest <laughs> screws to have put in. Yeah, it's an awkward spot, and they require a lot of screwing in. Jeez. But this is the drivetrain, so this is paramount in getting right the first time. Now I want to compress the metal, so I don't, I don't know what to torque. I should be using is I'm just going to try to do it to a point where I think it'll be safe and it won't fall out. Now I should usually have my grandson here so I can measure him, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the middle. It seems to be an easy fix as it has a, a hand a hand screw that I can just adjust as needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the middle. I mean, it's five years old, it's from four to eight. So I feel like that must be the middle size. As you see, it has a hand brake. And that breaks on both wheels. It weighs about 20 pounds. It's not really heavy, but it does feel sturdy. Now the reason I'm maybe able to screw this in on one side is because the bolts on the top are square and the um the, the fixtures inside the seat are square so it kind of acts as a a holding kind of placement and it just allows you to screw it from the bottom okay so that's together like i said i have this reflective tape you know, I only praying for my grandson to ride this in the playground. It's still cool to have reflective and in the daytime, not at night. But like if he was to put it on, you could see the reflection. Okay. So I'll put this here like this. Let's try that. And then I'll go to the hood. This is the hood. It's a snap-on hood, but first I have to apply the stickers, and I see that they haven't laid out exactly how it's supposed to be. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's how that looks. So it has snap, so it, it snaps on these two things here and here. And we see, I'll just move it over so that it's centered. Those are reverse too. 
they were like the pedals they have just like this metal like it's like race car inspired okay so I'll combine this with this and you've got a winning pop pop Christmas present for your grandson and all of my sons are grown now they're men if they're watching this I bet they're <laughs> they're jealous because that's just how they are but you know that's what happens man you you what you don't get right as a father you get right as a grandmother oh and by the way I got him a puppy too hey say hello to the King Corso that's Donatella She's trying to do it. She's scared. It's cold out here. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it.